you have ice cream? They said yes. She said, is it warm or is it cold? They said it is cold. <laughs> it lies in the eyes of the beholder, but beholder wengine muko na muchezo. When you withdraw, we get disappointed because some of us actually plan for those deposits. You need unlimited supply of charcoal. I got you. Chukua Churchill Road. To bed. With an itching anus. You must wake up with a smelling finger. As the conducive environment for the devil to work. Reason number one. Look on a health screen. Beer and whiskey is the number one enemy of a man. But a man who runs away from his enemies is a coward. A man lifting his leg, putting it in front. Lifting the other one and putting it in front is working. <laughs> Welcome to yet another exciting episode of Chachi Show, My Journey, My Story. My goodness, thank you so much for your comments and your feedback. That is what keeps us moving. Now, on today's episode of Chachi Show, My Journey, My Story, you've asked, <laughs> you've asked, we bring someone who's really, really made it in life and stayed humble. And my goodness, our guest for today grew up in Gara, actually Biashara Street, and made it to the list of the most um, successful businessmen of our time. He is a director, chairman, vice chancellor of so many universities. And my goodness, does he have a story or what? So on this week's Chachi Show, My Journey, My Story, we bring you the amazing story, the inspiring story of businessman, Dr. Manu Chandari. Come along. Okay, come in. Okay. One, two. Oh, secure. Kennedy. Kule apanta ke mana no? Tak tazalanda. How long have you been Kennedy? Kennedy. Yes. Oh, seven, eight, seven, eight years. Seven, eight years. A great guy. So he, he can make Indian food. Absolutely, but do everything Indian. Yeah. We don't eat meat at all. At all, it's vegetarian. No, no meat, no fish, no chicken. The beauty about this, we don't eat a national anthem. Huh? <laughs> we don't need a national anthem to start. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Harry, for inviting us in your beautiful, you. beautiful, humble house. We it's, really, well, it's my pleasure. Yes, yes. It's been a long time coming. Thank you. So finally, you've opened the doors. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Well, so before we talk about Ngara, Biashara, this house, tell me the history well, of this house. Well, this house was bought uh, 50 years back. 50? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was the house of Bruce McKenzie. Uh -huh. He used to be a minister, mm. big fat man. Yes, back then. Uh, and he was involved in uh, the first cabinet mm -hmm. of this independence. Mm -hmm. And then he retired. Yes. And then they decided that they would like to go to Coast mm -hmm. and stay there. Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, this house was then available. Mm -hmm. So he bought it. How many years ago? Uh, 50 years. 50 oh, years? 50 years ago. Great. So you're yeah. showing me an extension that you did, the other side? No, no. That extension was done by, by him. Okay. Uh, this is the old house mm. where 1929. Oh. And this house also got a paper mm. in which nobody mm. except of white Caucasian, Caucasian race mm -hmm. can live here. Oh. Yeah. But then after the independence, yeah. all those clauses were not applicable. Okay. And this all happened after the 
uh, after the independence. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Then you have all these beautiful paintings plus this. Yeah. Well, we 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 are good collector of art. All right. And that the whole house is full of art. Mm -hmm. And as over a period of time for 50 years that we have been yes. living here, yeah. every time we see something mm. beautiful, something we think will make addition to our home, yes. we'll buy it. And over a period of time we have collected now, uh, probably there's one of the best houses in the town, in the country, yes. which has got all kinds of different kinds of uh, artifacts. Tell me about this. Well, this is a piece which used to be, was made in England. Mm -hmm. It's a wooden piece, mm. it was made in South India. Mm. It, it traveled to UK. Mm -hmm. When I bought it, it was in 60, I think it was now 61 or 62, mm -hmm. when I was living in Dar es Salaam. Right. And my brother, mm. uh, I just built a new house there. Mm -hmm. So he decided and said that I want to send you something, mm. maybe he'll like you. Mm. And so when this came, mm. and, and these, are, these can be opened up into pieces. Yes. And so when we assembled it mm. in Dar es Salaam, this was a beautiful piece. Awesome. Then we found the history about that. It was about 160 to 70 years old. Wow. I think it was about 70, 69, 70, mm -hmm. when we came here. When we brought this back again here. It's a beautiful piece. It's, it's, beautiful a, it's piece, a masterpiece. Yeah. yeah, beautiful piece. Yeah. Great. Take me back to Biashara Street, where you were born. How was it growing up in, in Nairobi City? Well, Nairobi. Nairobi was a, a small town when yeah. I was born. Mm -hmm. Probably I can't remember. But my parents said that I was born behind the Biashara Street. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was known at that time Indian Bazaar. India Bazaar. And then from there we moved away to near Odeon Cinema. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, we, we bought a house mm -hmm. on Canal Road, mm -hmm. now uh, known as Kikorok Road, just behind River, River Road. Mm -hmm. And we stayed there. That I can remember from when I was three to four years old. Great. We stayed there. In school? Originally, we started with a, 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 in an Indian school. Mm -hmm. And immediately after that, mm -hmm. my parents had an office also uh, in uh, Mombasa. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually when they came over here, mm. my grandfather would not allow my father or any of my uncle to come over here. Why? Uh, he said, no, I, I don't want to be s sitting over there because I see <laughs> the lots of Indians, mm. old people, mm. the children go over here. Mm. And then they don't come for 20 years <laughs> and don't come for 10 years. Yeah. I don't want to see that. Yeah. So I'm sorry, one son will have to live with me mm -hmm. all the time. All right. How many were you in your family? Not very many people. Mm. But then ultimately today, mm. we are a joint family still. Yeah. 55 members. 55 members. Yeah. So your father was a businessman also? Well, no, he came down over here to earn a living. All right. He started working. He worked for six months. Mm -hmm. And after six months, he had the guts to ask, how much you're going to pay me? Yeah. And the fellow said, okay, I'll give you 20 rupees. At yeah. that time, the rupee was the currency. Yeah. 20 rupees mm. for six months, mm. be 120. Mm -hmm. And he had come over here with a dream mm -hmm. that as soon as I earn 4,000 rupees, mm. I'll go back and stay with my family in India. In India. Then he started thinking at this rate, yeah. <laughs> at 120 in six months, when am I going to make 3,000 or 4,000? Yeah. So he said, sorry, yeah. I want to quit. Yes. He was a good worker. Yeah. At that time, you know, the Indian shops were also allowing the people to go out. Yeah. And they'll say, all right, we'll supply you the goods. Yes. Go and start your new business. Mm -hmm. So you'll have another customer mm -hmm. who will buy goods from you. Great. So he went away mm. and he started with that. And he set up a small business in mm. Nagara. Yes. Nagara, yeah. Nagara. 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 Then the business improved. Mm. Then they moved to the Indian Bazaar. 
at that time it was Indian Bazaar, mm. now Beershara Street. Mm. There's still a building there, yeah. known as Prembro House there, mm -hmm. which is there. It's his name and his two brothers. Wow. The whole family, yeah. majority of them are born here. Right. Either in the same canal road or behind the... Mm. <clears throat> except my eldest brother yes. and my eldest sister, they were born in India. Mm -hmm. The rest of the whole family was born in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Now, lots of our children are born all over the place. Mm. They're born in Geneva, they're born in London, they're born in Singapore, they're it, born in Toronto, all it, over the place. Yeah. yeah. And you are telling me about your grandchildren, which we'll talk about later. Yeah. Now, today I came to listen. Now, before you tell me about your beautiful, beautiful wife, take me back to school. Okay. So, after the Indian school where you started, yeah, then, then Indian school, and then I went to the school at uh, Government Indian School, yeah. which is now Jamuri. Mm -hmm. And during the war, mm. the Mussolini at that time wanted to uh, take over Africa, mm. starting from Magadishu. Mm. Many of the Asian community members, mm. they decided it's better that the women, children, and older people mm. go away to India, and only able-bodied men mm. stayed here. Mm. And wow. that the last school that I attended was Jamuri. High school. At that time it was not Jamuri, it was called Duke of Gloucester or something like that. Yeah, now it's called Jamu. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then eventually you finished your university. I finished my degree at university. Mm. <coughs> so did my brother. Mm. So did my cousin. Mm. Uh, and we were a joint family. Mm -hmm. And then my parents decided that we should go to the United States. Mm. So my brother went to Berkeley. Mm. He wanted to do uh, food technology mm -hmm. because we had built a plant, True Food, mm -hmm. here. True Food? Yeah. Yes. So he said that it's better if he goes over there and learns that, it might be good, better for us. Mm. And I went over there to study engineering. Mm -hmm. And basically, I did my first degree in engineering. Mm -hmm. And then I did my master's in engineering mm -hmm. and came back. So since then, mm -hmm. we were probably the first graduates in our family. Wow. And after that, there is not a single person mm -hmm. who is not a graduate, double graduate, mm -hmm. or even a PhD. Great. Congratulations. And yeah. you, your son is over mm -hmm. there doing, uh, is at Stanford, your son? Yeah, my son, yeah, my son lives in Singapore, yeah, and he is a consul for Kenya, yeah. consul general for Kenya. All right, and uh, he he studied at Stanford. Right. Tell me about this uh, beautiful picture. The, oh, the yeah. Here. yeah. Well, this is uh, depicting Mother Teresa. Mm. Any woman who wears that white sari yeah. with a blue ribbon mm. and does the work for the old. And, and uh, orphans yeah. are, are the followers of Mother Teresa. Mm. And Mother Teresa was very, very kind. Mm. And I met her first time, and then she has been in the house four times. She sat in the same place where you are sitting. Right here. Four times. And That's then special. I took her to the state house. Yes. She wanted to meet President Moy. Mm -hmm. So I took her over there. Mm. And as soon as we entered over there, the person immediately, he said, no, no, you don't have to sit on the ground. Come on, my son, get up. <laughs> yeah. and, and so he said, what can I do for you? Yes. And I was sitting there and said, nothing. All I want is water. Hmm. Because our children and our old people, we have to wash, keep on washing the clothes all the time. Hmm. So I want water. He said, is that all you want? He said, yes. Anything, land, any building, any, he said, no, nothing. Water. I only want water. And so the president was very impressed, the, the president, lady. Yeah. And every time that she came over here, she just came home, she sat in the where you are sitting. Wow. What she did to us mm. is brought us back onto the ground. She humbled you. Humbled, absolutely. Mother Every Trump. time she'll come, she'll stop over there. And it's surprising that how it worked. You know. My daughter, uh, uh, when he finished her education, mm. 
uh, every day she will uh, come over here. At that time, we would not allow our daughters in our business. And every time I came over here, she said, I'm bored. So I told him, why don't you go and work for Mother Teresa? Yeah. He said, well, Mother? Yeah. Where? I said, it's in the slum. In, Kar in Karyobangi. Yeah. He said, no, no, I don't want to go to the slum. <laughs> I said, but why don't you try? Go and see for yourself. Yes. So she went for one day. She said, well, let me try a second day. Yeah. And she liked it. Wow. And she liked it and she said she'll work now there. And she worked there for a year or so. Wow. Awesome. In the meantime, she met Mother Teresa. But the point is that so humble, so down to earth, that you never believe that people like... And that touched the lives of us. Mm -hmm. Made us so humble and really on the ground. Mm. Yeah. Despite all the achievement. Despite all. When I took it, or when I phoned up uh, <laughs> President, I said, Mother Teresa is with me and she wants to come in. He said, any time, come on, when, when can you <laughs> come? And kept, kept on reminding me a couple of times. Yes. I said, well, as soon as she comes, yeah. I'll bring her. Awesome. And she's the one who signed over there? Yes, she, signed, she autographed it. This painting is also by one of the topmost artists in India, mm -hmm. known as Hussein. Hussein. He did 12 paintings. Of Mother Teresa. Yeah. Awesome. You'll tell yeah. me about those ones. And who is this? This is my wife. When I when I married her. Oh. Uh, look at her now. <laughs> 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 no, she was most she was a very beautiful girl. Look she, at that one. She's still very beautiful. Yeah, she's very beautiful, but at that time yeah. whew, she was a killer. <laughs> I need to know how you met this beautiful wife of yours okay, when it comes okay, back. What's her sure. beautiful name? Aruna. Aruna. Yeah. We have to talk about Aruna yeah. when we come back. So tell yeah. them we'll be right back after the break. Thank you. <laughs> you need to say we'll be right back after oh, the break. We'll be right back. After the break. After a few minutes. We'll be <laughs> That's right. We'll be right back after the break. <laughs> Are you looking for a serene and scenic environment for your dream home? At Marijani Vipingo Beach, we are offering the best options for both investment and residential property. From apartments to beautiful mycenates with plot prices from 1.95 million. For more information, call us on 0711 082-500. This looks like uh, the artistic room. This is called as a party room. The party room. Party room. Yeah. We built this. This is built by me. Extension. Because when I was in earlier days, yeah. I used to have lots of parties. Oh, great. So we'll, <laughs> we, there used to be about uh, six tables. Right. Six each. Uh -huh. So 36 people would sit uh -huh. and have dinner or lunch. Okay. But when it's not a party, yeah. Then all my, uh, what you call the antiques, yes. started, we started and put them in this room. Right. So anything that you see over here, yeah. except the chair, yeah. uh, there are about six chairs there. Mm. Everything else is 100 years plus. Wow. Yeah, old. Yeah. The door. The door is about 240, 30 or 40 years old. It's from India. From India. It's known, it's come from Patan. Wow. P-A-T-A-N. And Patan has the, the specialized doors. Everything that you see over here is from India. Antiques. Yeah, all antique, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Each item has, has got its own history. Like this carpet. Yeah. It's about probably 140 years old. Wow. You never get it if you want it. You'll have to pay and sit back for it. Yeah. And thanks for allowing us to come here. Yeah. This is a very special yeah. room. Yeah. yeah. Great. Now, welcome back to Church Show, my journey, my story. My goodness, what a privilege to be hosting Dr. Manu Shandari. Let's Aruna, talk about yeah. Aruna, your beautiful wife. 
She is the daughter of one of her partner. Mm -hmm. The eldest sister was married to my eldest brother. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd seen her yeah. because she came from the same place where I came from. Yeah. We were 1940. Right. And they were they came in 1941. Somehow we knew each other because of the, my my eldest brother was married there. Yeah. So we knew each other, and then slowly, slowly, we liked each other. Yeah. Then I went away to America to study. Yeah. After three years, when I came back, again I visited India again, mm -hmm. and I saw her again. And I think it, that became more stronger. Then they came back to Kenya. Yeah. Uh, and so, so yours was not arranged. You no, chose her. No, no. Our, our was a choice marriage. Yeah. We we selected ourselves each other. Yeah. And so we wanted to get married. This picture. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is Aruna. Yeah, this is Aruna. Yes, yeah, wow. she was. Uh, this was done by a photographer. Yeah. Was very well known yeah. in Jamnagar. Yeah. And so he loved good pictures, he loved people with good taste and and he used to always select some good good people to make the portraits. And these portraits, we are going to hear one, but he would have a big big one yeah. in his portrait and he'll show how beautiful he can make the photographs. Yeah. How old was Aruna? This, when was oh, she must be about 20. Is this the time you married 19. her? 19. No, no, not married. This was her at 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks much prettier than her from that photograph. <laughs> <laughs> but she was very pretty. Yeah. And she this, was the, yeah. And this and, was, and that was also done at the same time, but, yeah. but maybe a year earlier or so. Yeah. This was something what the photographer wanted. Yeah. Something which she was praying. Yeah. So they can see that she's a praying. Yeah. And then somebody put up that little uh, you know, these are uh, I think ivory. But she was a beautiful woman. She's still very no, beautiful. No doubt. Even today, but she, at that time she was stunning. <laughs> I don't know how she chose me. <laughs> how did she? What did you tell her? Probably liked me because right from the young age we yeah. were together, and she liked me so. So when I told people we were going to have your interview, Daktari, you know a lot of Kenyans, Africans, they want to know how did you make money? How did you become chairman of all these big uh, companies? How did you start? Well, a start was a very small start. Mm. It was very surprising. Mm. Uh, when, I, when we came from uh, Africa, yeah. uh, from America, yeah. uh, our partnership had broken. Yeah. And to us, there was a one small plant. Mm left to us mm. and, a, and a wholesale business yeah. in Nairobi. Mm. And being an engineer, so I landed up in Mombasa mm -hmm. in a little mm. small plant, mm. 40 people working, mm. Kalu works, mm. and six members of the family on top. Wow. And many times we felt, hey, come on now. Have yeah. we just cut out to just run a little bitty factory? Yeah. After all, we have done, I did my master's in engineering. Yeah. So how, how would it going to work? Yeah. But then at the, every time we thought about um, feeling away, moving away from the families. Yeah. Uh, during my university time in mm. Mumbai, yeah. we were very much attached to Mahatma Gandhi mm -hmm. and Gandhi's philosophy. Mm. And so that philosophy always insisted on sacrifice. Mm. Just because you are somebody, it doesn't make any sense. Mm. You go to sacrifice for the best mm. of what you want. Yeah. So basically, that's what happened. Mm. So we thought that, look, at the end of the day, this is the family mm. that brought us up. Mm. So how can we just leave them? Yeah. And we used to... Uh, Aruna. So Aruna is coming up shortly. No, I'm going to say it shortly. One minute. One minute. I'm going to say it shortly. I'm going to say it shortly. So this one shortly, then we go to the garden with you. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, 
the idea was that uh, are we going to leave this family mm. and serve outside? Our parents have worked hard in their lifetime. Mm. From nothing they built. Mm. They built us. So one beautiful day we decided nothing doing. Whatever it is, how small the family is, yeah. how small the businesses are, mm. we are all committed to it. And and it was me, my brother, and my two cousins, right. all four of us. And you've always been together. Yeah, two of them, two of us were in the United States. Mm. One was a civil engineer from India. Mm. Another was a post graduate from a commerce graduate from from India. Mm. So four of us, we decided nothing doing. This is our family. Yeah. We will serve the family. Mm. We'll build the family. Mm. And from that day onward, we never looked back. Wow. Yeah. That was Kalu Works. Kalu Works started from 40 people. Yeah. And now it built all these other companies. Oh, yeah. Mabati. Now, we are, now we are in 35 countries. Wow. Yeah. And Mabati rolling came much later. Yeah, yeah. Much, it, Mabati came in 1958, 60, 61. Great. Yeah. And I know Mother Teresa has really made you uh, uh, see things very different. At what point did you feel, okay, I've attained success? For success, you've got to work hard. Mm. There's, there's no sh shortcut. Yeah. Working hard is the only answer. Mm. And, and, and be honest, yeah. integrity plays a very important role. Mm -hmm. Many a times people want to just cut short. Yes. But it, it doesn't pay. Mm -hmm. So work hard, integrity, mm. and love whatever you do. Mm. Love the business that you are in, yeah. love the people that you are working with. Yeah. Have, have the feeling of that you are a part and parcel of it. Yes. And that made a lot of difference. Integrity. Because when you go and work for somebody mm. and you work for yourself mm. with all the commitments, mm. then I think it's a, it's a very different story. Yeah. yeah. And I think to me, uh, uh, the, the, the firmness, yeah. the determination, yeah. uh, the attitude mm. toward work yeah. is very much necessary. Mm. Good attitude good thinking, yeah. higher thinking, yeah. and looking at the society mm. as a part of you, mm. then you know you, you are in a different level. Yeah. Most of us are so much concentrating on ourselves mm. that we do not see anything beyond us. So we need to break that cycle. Yeah. We need to see that there's a whole world mm. sitting there outside. Yes. And, and they're very different. Mm. They're not the same as you think. Mm. They're very different. Unless and until you realize that particular part, yeah. uh, you, you cannot come out of that shell. Yeah. It's actually that we are all caught. Mm. Uh, unless you want to come out of it yeah. and say, world is my field. Yeah. Country is my field. Not my little film that I think about. Right. And I think that that's, that's what the higher thinking, higher feeling yeah. that you are a part and parcel of something yeah. which is greater than yourself. Than myself. I like it. Dr. Ari, now congratulations. You're the Vice Chancellor of the United States International University. Yes. Currently. Yes. I'm, was... I'm currently a Chancellor there. Great. But I'm also was a Chancellor for TUK, yeah. Technical University of Kenya, of Kenya, which President Mike Kibaki yeah. uh, gave me the position yeah. for five years. Then they wanted to again repeat another five years. Yeah. I said, no, no, no more, yeah. because I've done enough now, <laughs> and I have to still continue with, uh, with USIU. Great. So now I'm with one chancellorship. Great. The reason I ask because so many graduates say, okay, I've gotten the papers, I've graduated, but where, where's the job? You know, what do you talk the to, point to is the graduate? limit, there's no limit. Mm. The minute you put the limit, your progress stops. It has to be wide open. World is a big field for you. Mm. 
work. And, and that's why from a small 40 people plant yeah. in Mombasa, mm. now we're in 35 countries. Great. It's not easy. It's, it's very hard, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. And, and wherever we are, yeah. we are counted. You're not just, just anybody, yeah. you're counted. You're counted. Because, because with the work yeah. goes our philosophy mm. of, of looking after our people, mm. being with them, looking at the country, mm. looking after the country itself. So yeah. everything counts together. Everything counts. Do you know how many staff members you have right now? <laughs> oh, worldwide, probably 30,000, 40,000 people. Oh, maybe 30, yeah. Oh my congrats. Yeah, but I don't know in any most of them because yeah. they're all, all over the world. Yeah. yeah. Do you still go to work? No, I just for two years back I decided to retire. Yeah. So you you always here with the mama. Yeah, otherwise I was full time working. <laughs> <laughs> you always here with mama. So with mama. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And congratulations about that. Now Thank I need you. to hear about your charities, the the Chandaria Foundation, because well, I know you're so big with your foundation. I need well, the foundation to... was a, a very interesting. Yeah. Uh, when we were very small. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it was we, we had about hundred people. Yeah. And I asked my father, uh, how about setting up a Chandaria Foundation? Great. And he said, what? He said, listen, you live too long in the United States. He said, listen, we are not Rockefeller. Yeah. We are not Ford. We are a big hole over here. <laughs> and 36 <laughs> members of family at home. Yeah. Fill it up. Then talk about something else. Mm. Get going. So, after 100 people, when we became 400 people. Wow. He came back. I like that idea of Chandaria Foundation. He's my 10%. So 1956, we set up Chandaria Foundation. Awesome. And now I need to hear about those charities you're doing because there are so many. Yeah. Uh, when we come back, I need to hear about your hobbies, what you do. You tell me about your Rolls Royce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the only one in the country, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. And of course, a bit of Swahili. You still learn some Swahili? Yeah, yeah. Kidogo, kidogo. Yeah, I can speak Swahili. Kidogo, kidogo. Yeah, yeah, kidogo. Not, yeah, yeah. When we come back. Yeah. All right. Okay. So okay. when we come back, that and much more. You're watching the story, Amazing Journey of Dr. Manu Chandaria. We'll be right back after the break. Hi, everyone all the viewers around the world the serenity around diani is will give you all the reasons to invest in diani palms we are only selling diani palms at 500,000 kenya shillings a very prime area to have your holiday home to have cottages and investments around with only 500,000 kenya shillings we also have a payment plan a flexible payment plan of uh, 100,000 for every month for six months welcome Karibuni sana Diani Palm. Mama, you okay? Mama is okay. Mama run. Every day she's half an hour in the garden. <laughs> Mama, you okay? So every morning you wake up, there are these, these beautiful and noises from yes, the Yes, but I, now I don't go out to the garden, but she always walks. You planted all these flowers? Many flowers. I planted many trees, many flowers. All right. So I was asking Mze where you met. I showed this picture. Yeah. Very welcome back. When, when I was 1920. 1920. So I asked him, what did he tell you so that you can like him? Was he a very talkative young man? Very, very talkative. Very talkative. Is that what you liked about him? Then I never get chance to talk. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but you liked him. That's why we are uh, together 67 years. 68 will be in uh, April. April will be 68 years. 
in marriage. My goodness. Congratulations. Thank you. Do you have something special you are planning? No, nothing. No <laughs> planning now. <laughs> what's the secret? Someone will ask, what's the secret of, secret of staying this long in well, marriage? I think the best thing is just to understand each other yeah. and accept each other. Mm. Because there are always shortcomings of everybody. Yes. My shortcoming, her shortcoming. Yeah. But we accept that, then it's okay. Yeah. If you don't accept, then you fight. Yeah, yeah. And the fight does not last very long. Mm -hmm. Because it, there's 67 years. Yes. And I think we have seen good days. Yeah. Bad days. Mm. When we were very low. No, we can't say we were poor. Yeah. But middle, middle class. Yeah. Grew up into something. Yeah. But I think it's a, it's, it's a partnership. Yeah. Mm. Mom, what gives you happiness? Just like you people come at home, yeah. sit here, talk. People. People come and eat. And children also yeah. gives us happiness. Great. Grandchildren. And now we have great-grandchildren. Oh, they yeah. give you happiness. You have only two children. Two children. Do you at times sit here and say you wish you had more children? No, no. <laughs> Two enough. Two is enough. Uh, you've done all your business with with Madame. She's a director. No, she's not a director, but she's a she's a trustee of Chandaria Foundation. Okay. It's not women are not in our family directors or anything. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, it's always a macho, but I think they're all accepted mm. because that's that's what the life is all about. Yeah, that's but right. none of them are the directors of those companies. Tell me about your brothers and your cousins. Are you still together in some of those businesses? Yeah, the ones who started Calworks. It's a it's a whole family business. Mm. It's a five generation now. Five. Mm. Uh, actually, myself and my brother now could be called the oldest generation right. that we are in. Yeah. And then we got yeah. now the fourth generation, my great grandchild. Right. But she's not in our she's married mm. and she's away from us. Awesome. So actually the three generations are all in business. Oh great. Yeah. Now I know you've done so many businesses, you have so many companies, you are chairman to so many. Which is your favorite? Do you have a favorite? You say I love, I prefer well, I like Kenya, and that's why I lived here. Yeah. Mo otherwise, most of our people have gone away. Yes. Some lives in Toronto, some lives in Geneva, yeah. some lives in Singapore. Mm -hmm. Both of us stayed only here. Yeah. And so, we, we, we like the country, we like Kenya, we like the climate. Yeah. We like the people. Yeah. And the businesses are good for us, so yes. we're quite okay. But now we are tired. Okay. Yeah. So, ma'am, when you're sitting here, uh, do you watch television? What do you do? I used to cook. When I got married, we were 38 people staying together. Wow. Then cooking ourselves. Yeah. Now you stopped. And now I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your hobby? No hobbies. No hobbies. <laughs> so, you wake up? Well, wake up and start working. Nothing more than that. Okay, great. Now you've retired. In the, in the morning, the minute I get up, yeah. I, I, I just look at the mail, I look at, you know, until I take my bath and get ready. Now both of us have coffee at 10.30. Yeah. We sit together, another room on the top. Yeah. And then have coffee together. Yeah. And then uh, she, she does her work and I do my work. Mm. But that's the time when I work on the computer. Mzee was telling me about Rolls Royce. Oh, this is a long story. <laughs> what happened? I think so one time she said that I want a Rolls Royce. Yeah. And I said, well, come on now. There's no Rolls Royce in this country. Yeah. Best we can do a Mercedes. Yeah. And we have got Mercedes here. Yeah. We've got two Mercedes here. Yeah. So now she said, well, Rolls Royce, and I think her nephew lives in South Africa. Yeah, we used to live. Now he lives here. We hmm. used to live in South Africa. Yeah, she asked, and I asked him. Yeah, I said, well, if we find a uh, 
Rolls Royce. Yeah. Let's buy it. Yeah. So you found one. Yeah. And sent it one day. Yeah. Hmm. And you bought it for her. Yeah. Well, then we hardly we don't use it. For how many years? Five years? Six years? Six, seven so, years now. So the ma the Rolls Royce is here. You you don't drive? Do you drive? I used to drive, but not Rolls Rolls Royce. You can't drive. I yeah. My chauffeur. Yeah. <laughs> there has to be a chauffeur. For all trees, if you want to use it, <laughs> there has to be a chauffeur there. <laughs> Were you driving her at some point back in the day? Oh, yeah. 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 All, all the time I, I drove. She used to drive. Yeah. I used to drive. Yeah. But then when we get a little older, yeah. then we have drivers. Now good. she has got a driver, I got a driver. Yeah. Was he a good dancer? Well, once upon a time, not now. It's, it's, it's a long time now. <laughs> Great. I was asking you before we finish about your book. Are you going to do to write a book because you have so much knowledge? Of it. People would like to learn a lot about um, you, well, your um, success stories. I, I, I started to not myself, but somebody to to write a book for me. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden she passed away. Well, sorry about that. And so she left it, and I thought I'll find somebody. Yeah. But then I don't think that there is really, I want to write anyway. Let's see. Everything is ready. Yeah. There are so many papers and so many articles and whatnot. Yeah. It's just somebody has to go through yeah. and then write. Is that a challenge you're posing? Well, not a, not, a, not a challenge, but somebody has to come up and I must, he must agree and I should agree that, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> All right, can I help yeah. you get one person yeah, to yeah. write for you? Your, because I think your book will impact so many other generations to come. You have an amazing, but you, beautiful story. You know, but you know, there, there's uh, clips like this will go. Yeah, this is. But but uh, books are now very few people read now. Yeah, yeah. Though when you're young, yeah. there's no alternative but to read. Yeah. Let's talk about your charity. Which charity are you now? Uh, working on now. It was just a desire with to do something for the society. Right. And all we started with was one scholarship. Mm. <laughs> to look after <laughs> writing a scholarship, <laughs> asking them to select out of ten people or so, yeah. writing every three months report, asking them what they've done. Yeah. You know, but it grew. Yeah. And as it grew, we grew. Mm in terms of size. And we've started feeling that, okay, a social work is a necessity. Mm. And I think in every organization that I've involved myself into, the Stare Boys Center, or Rotary Club, mm. or Lions Club, mm. or any organization, the Heart Foundation, Guinea Air Foundation, mm. number of foundations that, mm. that I've been, mm. they all required my Input in. That's very deep, yeah. Dr. Manu. Great. Is marriage a bed of roses? Valentine is coming. No, 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 no. It's not a bed of roses. But I think that a partnership is a bed of roses. <laughs> a partnership. And, and the Valentine is coming. Yes, Valentine yeah. is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, are you planning uh, something special for mom? Uh, we are building a, a, a workshop mm. at Langata Women's Prison. Oh, fantastic. And so those girls who are there will start learning and how to live when they go out wow. and earn a living also. Awesome. So I think that that's going to be given to them on Valentine's Day. Oh, Valentine. I wow. think it's Mr. Matiangi will receive it Great. on behalf of us. So Valentine's Day this time yeah. is, is going to be remembered. Uh, and, and it'll be a, a good gift it is. to them. It is. Yeah, yeah. That gives you happiness yeah. and satisfaction. Satisfaction, happiness, that you have been useful to others. Great. And if you're not useful to the others, well, everybody, everybody leaves, everybody. But, you know, let's see that this touches, mm. the show touches the people to tell them Hey, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. 
And we've done it. Thank you. And thank you so much for according us this amazing story, thank Johnny. Thank you so much. Mama Runa, we really do appreciate uh, Mom. Uh, there has amazing stories for you, great memories. And uh, what's the one thing you want to tell uh, Mama you've never told her? Oh, she's a great, great partner. She's a great partner. She's more giver than taker. Wow. Awesome. And to get women to give more this way. <laughs> <laughs> she's a great giver. Yeah, she's a great giver. And she's made me yeah. my life. Wow. Awesome. I could have been just an ordinary. There are many in Beashara Street. Yeah. She made you. Aruna, thank you so much for creating this gem for the world. Asante san. No, so are we going to experience your world of rice? After this, you said I could get a lift. You, I will take you. Take <laughs> I you can around. drive. Oh, we needed to ask for permission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I we should have asked for permission. Yeah. Okay. okay. Give it a round. Yeah, three of you, you, three of you can sit. All right. Thank you so much for watching the amazing story of Dr. Manu Chandraria. My goodness, I wish we had more time. But for now, thank you very much. God bless. You can tell them quietly. Thank you and wish you well. Right.